Welcome to Quizity. Get ready for a show of silly nonsense of Jesus, the Bible, and your Trinity family. Anything and everything can and will happen here. Grab your family and friends, and please help me welcome your host, Logan West. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Okay, then. Depending on when you watch this video, and welcome to this VBS qualification round of Quizity. This is the sixth Quizity in relation to VBS being on the sixth month, plus there are six of us here total. I don't count you, Noah. You're kind of in your own room over there. And this is, of course, the, great, the greatest uh, spectacle in all of this Quizity, or Trandy Hill. I am losing my mind because you are right next to me. <laughs> Let me restart that. This, of course, is a showcase of the Holy Ones, the greatest spectacle in all of Trinity Hillsborough history. I am your co-host for this qualification round, VBS related of Quizzy, Logan West. And next to me is my co-host, also for this qualification round of VBS of Quizzy, Pastor Steve Nicodemus. Now, we are co-hosting because, well... VBS, we were co-hosting VBS, and now, since this is VBS-related, I just figured we got to make us VBS-related, right? Why not? Why right not? All right, so what you got VBS host, again, is now what you get on VBS version of Quizzy, so let's the puns begin. The punishment will begin and carry on all the way through this oh, round. All right, this is going to go out of control. Whoever wins today will advance to face off against Karen Kenyon, the current Quizzy champion, and Hannah Legassi, who already qualified last Quizzity. And the winner of Quizzy 7, that's next time, will also go for it as well. Who will it be today? Let's go ahead and meet our contestant, Steve. All right. First up, she is a teacher at Faith Bible School. She is currently on a team of leaders for youth group, and she is also proud to see the smiles on her students' faces. Please welcome Stacy Buck! Yeah. Hi, Stacy. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? I suppose so. What do you want me to tell you? Something about yourself. Something interesting. I once took a group of 40 students to Australia. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow, that is great. That's cool. Now, second question. Do you think you will win with your extensive knowledge of Vacation Bible School? Probably not. Mm. No confidence <laughs> right and, there. And finally, this is totally out of left field. What is your favorite fast food franchise? Oh, that's easy. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. That rang a bell with yeah. me, baby. Jeez, he's already punning. All right, next up, let's move on. He goes to youth group all the time and definitely loves to talk a lot about meaningful conversations. He is surrounded by a brother and two sisters. Please welcome Daniel Buck. Hey, Daniel. How's it going? It'd be better if I wasn't here. Oh, come on. You know you love being here already. Sure. So my question to you is, can you please tell us what school you go to and what grade you are going to be in? Um, I go to the same school that my mother teaches at, which is Faith Bible Christian School. And what was the second question? What grade will you be going in? Freshman grade, ninth grade. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's summer. It's killing him. Uh, do you think you will good, do good today on this quiz? I don't think I'll do good. I'll win because everybody else here will lose. All right. And finally, what is your favorite fast food franchise? All of them. Of all course, of them. It's I all of them. I haven't eaten there. Never. Is that I. like Olive Tree, all of them? Yeah, but it's probably <laughs> something we don't know about. All right. Anyway. Well, anyway, we move on. Next up, she is a teacher at Jackson Elementary School. She has volunteered at VBS a lot and loves to have fun. Please welcome Laura Anderson. Hey, Laura. Who teaches at Quitama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I'm reading the notes here, sorry. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Can you tell us a bit about uh, what you do currently? 
Uh, besides correcting us on what school it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, currently, I've been doing lots of quilting since I've got the summer off. Mm. So just finished one for my bed and working one on one for my aunt next. That sounds like a real patchwork project you're on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think you will win with your knowledge of Vacation Bible School and students and education in general? I hope not. You hope not. Okay. <laughs> because then you'll have to go to the next round. That's right. And finally, Laura, this is the hard one. What is your favorite fast food franchise? Boy, it's hard to say. Uh, Burgerville. Burgerville. Mm -hmm. Got it. Burgerville. Before I move on, Laura, when did you, where do you, what school do you work at? Quatama Elementary. When did you move? Because I remember when I went to Jackson, that you were a teacher there. <laughs> I've been there for 11 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. You feeling old right now, buddy? No. Yeah. Don't go okay. there, Steve. Don't go there. <laughs> all right. Finally, uh, she goes to youth group all the time. She currently is one of the song leaders in the music ministry team. She's also got one sister and one brother always with her. Please welcome Kyla Anderson. Yeah. Hey, Kyla. Hi. How's, how's it going? Good. Can you please tell us what school and grade you will be going to? I go to Glencoe High School, and I'm going to be a junior. Roll Tide. I like it. All right. Do uh, you think you will do well on this quiz? No. What is the deal with everyone's positivity <laughs> here? They just start negative. They're they trying to lower to... our expectations. Apparently. Totally. Yeah, that's right. right. And finally, the hardest question of them all, what's your favorite fast food franchise? Does Red Robin count? Does what? Red Robin. Is that... Red Robin? Oh. Red I don't Robin. know if that's fast Yum. food. Red Robin. I mean, I guess it's fast, isn't it? <laughs> Fast enough for me. I'm getting old. They're Robin. That's so right. That That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Before we get started, I want to quickly give a shout out to Noah Burkhart. Let's hear it for Noah. All right. Thank you for always stepping up and running tech for this show. We appreciate it. Also, throughout the quiz, I will be, we will be doing a few quizzity chats and best of all, some dad Pun jokes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no. All right, but pe please keep sending in those Quizzity chats, folks, for next month's Quizzity. Also, let me know if you want to be a future contestant. We would really love to have you compete here with all of your Trinity family because it's so much fun. Everybody smile. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, okay. Because Logan was saying six a lot during the opening, and this is the sixth Quizzity, so we've got six rounds for you today, starting with... Starting with, give me a drum roll, please, Steve. All right. The price is Christ. Ah, it, it, there it a, is. There's, there's Bruce. There's, there's Pastor the price Bruce. Is Christ. Looking good. All right. So let's, here's how the round works. Have you all seen the price is right? Nope. Well, you're going to get a lesson. There is a round in the price is right where they show off items, and I have selected some VBS related items I will show on the screen. Your job is to guess what the price of that is. Closest without going over gets five points, and if you get right on the nose, you get three points. These are all from eBay, just five make that clear. Any questions? Nope. Let's roll. Cool. Again. Let's roll. All right, first item on the docket is. A monumental VBS starter kit by Group Publishing. Plus extras. The condition is, it's basically new, coming from Toka, Georgia. What do you think the price of this whole kit of monumental VBS is? So pick up your pens and write it on your whiteboards, yes, folks. Yes, please write it on your whiteboards. Don't let the other contestants see because they know that you, you, you have inside information. No exactly, doubt. they right. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, the monumental VBS starter kit by Group Publishing, like new, out of Georgia. Write down your best, your best guess. Anybody not ready here? Y'all ready? Okay. All right. All right. Stacy, what's our view? Please reveal your uh, price to the camera and say what it is, please. Uh, I said $99.99. Ah. $99.99. All right. All right. Laura. Miss Laura. I said $35. $35. <laughs> All right. Kyla. Right. $30. You don't right. have to write it just a little bit bigger yeah, than make that. Make sure you write bigger yeah, next okay, time. Okay, That's right. okay. Daniel, what do you got? I wrote $124.99. $124.99. How interesting. What a spread. I know. Yeah. 
Actually, the person that was closest is Laura with $35, as she guessed. It's actually $99. Stacy, I'm sorry. You oh, went 99 cents So close. Much. So close. All right. So all right. that is five points to Laura. All right. So what's going to be our next item? I can hardly wait, Logan. Oh, our next item, of course, is this VBS Rocky Railway Locomotive Trust Jesus Gray Graphic T-Shirt. The condition of this T-Shirt is pre-owned, and it is from Clearwater, Florida. It, it is clean, by it, the way. It is clean. Because it comes from Clearwater. Yeah. Oh, they use geez. Clearwater to yeah. clean it. So, All right. Give it your best shot, folks. What do you think the price is? Remember, if you go over... You lose. Yes. That's so you right. Want to be underneath the yeah, price. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Closest people writing down. Mm -hmm. Is everyone ready? All right, Dana. Let's start with you this time. How much do you think it is? Uh, Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. All right, Kyla. Kyla. Fifteen dollars. All right, Laura. Fourteen fifty. Ah. Fourteen fifty. I said two dollars fifty. You said two dollars and fifty. So, what are we gonna do with this one, Logan? So, okay, this has this ever happened before? I don't think I've ever had this happen before. It, What's interesting is two of you have tied. Daniel and Kyla have tied because the price is fifteen ninety five. So, I think I'm just gonna give you both five points. All right. Nice five job. Five points to Kyla. Five points to Daniel. There and you, go. you know that we're halfway through this round already. Exactly. What is coming up next, Logan? Our next item is a base camp sing and play music Easy VBS Everest from 2015. If you didn't know that year, condition it's a it's basically the songs on a CD. Condition brand new from Rocky Mount, Virginia. All right. How much do you think this CD is? Everyone ready? Almost. All right. All right. Let's go, Stacy. What do you got? I said five dollars. Five dollars. All right, Laura. I said seven ninety. Seven ninety five. Okay. Twenty five dollars. All right. And twenty two. Twenty two. Well, Logan, I uh, I think we. Uh, uh, that this is kind of sad. It here. is very sad. It's um, very we're, sad. We're going to have to redo this. Um, so you all went over which is very interesting for what this is. Um, I will show the item up there again. Um, if you could please give me a price that's under $5. That's right. <laughs> As I said, it's on eBay. Wait. Okay. Just give me a new price that's under $5. Because <laughs> $5 was the lowest and it was above. So under $5, please. Is everyone right, ready? Is everyone ready this time? Everyone ready. All right, make sure, again, speak into your mic so I can hear you. Thank you. Stacy. what do you got? If you're not done right. It's all right. Um, I said $1.50. $1.50. $1.50. Right. Laura? Laura? I said one cent. One cent. <laughs> Go with a penny. <laughs> Go with a penny. All right, I Kyla. said $3. $3. $3. All right, and Daniel? I said three fifty. Three fifty. All right, now I can give someone points here. Uh, the actual price is... Four dollars and ninety nine cents. So Daniel, you only missed it you by get, one. Uh, you get five points. Wow. Uh, I believe that uh, Daniel's doing very well in this. He round. is doing he very is well. Doing very well. Okay. All right. Last last, last opportunity. Item. Our favorite. This is our favorite. Oh yes. This is. We have personal our, experience with this. Very personal. Very personal experience. It is one thousand one hundred and eleven water balloons. It is instant filling, self sealing. And a f comes with a free nozzle. Condition is new, free shipping from Lincolnwood, Illinois. And I can testify that it makes some real wicked water balloons. Yeah, not only that, they're very wet and they hurt. They do. Hmm. And there's well, a no of crap, Logan. They're water balloons. What do you think they're going to do? Have you written your price down yet? <laughs> yes, I have. Well, then maybe you should just wait calmly without saying something you're going to regret. <laughs> Because right. we're in control of the points. Exactly, Daniel. Speaking of you just blurting something out, uh, <laughs> let's start with you. What did you write? I wrote $49.99. Kyla. Right, let's go to Kyla. I wrote $35. $35. All right, Laura. Laura? I said $13. $13. $13. And, and? Miss Stacy? 
I said fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. All right. The actual mm. price is, is twenty seven dollars and ninety nine cents. So that would be Stacy. You get the points this time. No. Yeah. She wrote fourteen ninety nine. Mm. She. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, the others went over. That's yes, right. Steve. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I, you're Do you you're on it. Did I hear five points? Yeah, you're on it. I was starting to bid here or something. Yeah. Do I hear five dollars? You're ten dollars. You're fifteen dollars. Okay, there we go. So yeah. All right. Well, that round is over. So that was a very quick and nice, easy round. Um, the scores thus follows: in a triple tie is Stacy, Laura, and Kylo with five points, and somehow sneaking his way to the lead is Daniel. With 10 And managing points. to give us lip along the way. Mm. Mm. I guess we're going to have to think about well, that that's one right. as we yeah. continue. Yeah. All right. We move on to mm. our next round, which is the one, the only, returning from a long time ago, MMT Genesis. Oh, Kelly. Poor, poor Kelly. It's a long story. You don't want to hear it. Yeah, you don't want to hear it. All right, this round is basically singing. I have each given you already a song title and a lyric that you have to sing your song in. So I will go to you one at a time. When it is your turn to sing, you will sing the song in that lyric, and everyone else will have a chance to buzz in with their bells and guess what song they are singing. I just need the title of the song. So is there any questions? I think we're ready to roll. Oh, 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 yes, Daniel. Do we have to do this? Yes. Yes. If whoever gives the correct answer, uh, says the correct answer, they will get three points, as well as the singer who sung the song. That's right. All right. There's cool. an incentive for people to guess it. Yes. So, let's go ahead and start with Stacy. Stacy, <laughs> you're going to break the ice here for us. Yes. Lucky me. Okay. okay. All right. Now we're, we're all on buzzers. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Howl the coyote, howl the coyote, howl the coyote, howl the coyote, howl. Yes, Daniel. How great is our coyote? That is, that is, is correct. Is five point, three points, and, and so does Stacy. So does Stacy. All yeah. right, cool. And you were asking if we have to do this. Yeah. Just got points, Daniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, it was indeed How Great Is Our God. All right, Daniel. You might as well sing too. You're next. Sniper, diaper, sniper, diaper wars. Sniper, diaper, sniper, diaper wars. Sniper, diaper wars. Sniper, diaper, sniper, diaper wars. Sniper, diaper wars. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> It sounds so good. Please bring some more. Yeah. Yes, Stacy. That is watching over you. Yes. Exactly correct. right. Is hey, over what you. is going on? I think the buck stops here. They're just t trading points back and forth they on are, us. They are, aren't they? They each it's got amazing. three points. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. We'll go to Laura. Yeah, Laura, you're up. Yeah, go ahead, Laura. Kitty pool, kitty pool, kickball, kitty pool. Kitty pool, kickball, kitty pool. Kitty pool, kickball, kitty pool. Kitty pool, kickball. You nope. just broken Steve. I congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. Please sing some more. Kitty pool. Yes, Daniel. Our God is an awesome God. Yes, exactly. Awesome God. Exactly. There we go. Points for Laura. Points for Daniel again. Yes, kitty pool. All right, yes. Kyla, hmm. top us off. All right. Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me. Jesus is. Yes, Daniel. Monumental love. He's too good at this round. Oh yes, <laughs> and I say, I say, Kyla gets the points for having the best rendition. That was excellent. Kyla already is getting points. But you know what? I think I should give her some more points because she sang the best. I think she did. I think she gets three extra points three just extra for si points. singing okay, so the that best. Would be six points. This is how we roll here, Daniel. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's the end of that round. See, that went pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. We're moving right along. Hey, Steve, I have uh, some scores up 
updated, and there are some changes. Oh, are there? All right. So in last place with eight points is Laura. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> in third place with, actually, tied in second place is Stacy and Kyla with 11 points each. And in the lead is Daniel with 22 points. <laughs> and... Logan, Logan, you know what this has inspired me to do? What? To tell a dad joke. Oh, no. Yes, a dad joke Why? is necessary. Why? Yes. So, Logan, yes. I had a dream that I was a muffler last night. Mm -hmm. I woke up exhausted. Oh, my gosh. You know, no, 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 no. If you're going to do what you did at VBS with all those jokes, I'm going to do the same thing to you. Okay. Exactly. Um, I have, let's see. How about this one? I would tell you a chemistry joke, but I doubt it would get a reaction. Oh. All the good ones are gone. Okay, okay, all right. I'm gonna finish off. Of course you are. Why do chicken coops only have two doors? I don't know, why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if they had four, they would be chicken sedans. <laughs> Yes! And on that note, we move on to our next round. It is a brand new round. It is called, This is What You Need to Know. What now, you need to know. Now, hang on, hang on. Before we go on, just stare at that picture. Look at Bruce and just imagine him saying that when he announces the announcement video. This is what you need to know. I know. It's I what can you hear need him to right know. Now. Yeah, exactly. All right. This is basically a round where I'm going to ask you six different questions, one at a time. And basically, all you have, these are all VBS related, of course, because it's VBS Quizity. Um, basically, all you have to do is write your answers down on your whiteboards, but I'm timing you. You only get 30, well, depending on the question, you only get 30 seconds to write your answer down. So there's still some trickery with that, with the time. And um, whoever gets the questions right, but we each get their own points. So it's not like you're trying to have someone guess your answer. It's more, if you have a correct answer, you get points. Any questions? How much do you remember from VBS? Any year at all. All, all right. right. Let's start with our first question. Laura. First question. What furry friend did Cliff Towers always lose at VBS? What furry friend did Cliff Towers always lose at VBS? I will give extra points if you write down the name of that furry friend. They're writing right now, Logan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's ready. Are they ready? I think they're, oh, uh, they're, their, their time is half done, so okay. they better be ready. Are you guys ready? ready to go. Are you ready to go? All right, cool. Let's go from one at a time. Stacy, let's start with you. What do you have written down? I said Chatter the Chipmunk. Chatter the Chipmunk. How about you, Laura? I said Chipmunk, and I was guessing his name was Chippy. Mm. Chipmunk and Chippy, okay. Kyla? That's also exactly what I said. You said Chippy as well? Chipmunk. Do they read each other's minds? Well, I mean, wow. mother daughter, you know, wow. that's kind of what oh, happens. Amazing. Daniel, what do you got? I just wrote Chipmunk. You just wrote Chipmunk. Well, the answer is correct. It is a Chipmunk. His name is Chatter, so. I will definitely be giving um, three points to all correct answers, which is all of you, and then two extra points to you, Stacey. Two points. Because you got the name right. You, yeah. Did you get the name right? She got yeah, your That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because she loves cheddar cheese. Really? Hmm. <laughs> really? All right. Next question. Which experiment, remember we did an experiment at the end of every day, which experiment was used at the end of the second day of Monumental VBS? Which mm. experiment was used at the end of the second day of Monumental VBS? Must have the right answer. It gives you four points. I don't even remember what experiment we did. We I did don't, so many of them. I'm trying to forget. You're trying to forget. <laughs> was, that too, was that too terrible for you, Steve? <laughs> well, it was when the mad scientist came out. It was really scary. Oh, oh really? Okay. Oh, no, there was no mad scientist. That's, no, that was, was another VBS. Yeah. So to write your answers down. Yeah. Which experiment was used at the end of the second day of monumental VBS? And uh, I see three, people. Three, two, one. And stop writing your answers okay. down, Okay, let's start over with Daniel. Daniel, yep, Daniel what did you put you for an answer? Un unextinguishable candle. The unextinguishable candle? Unextinguishable candle. Okay. Kyla. Kyla, what do you got? 
All I said was balloons. Cause balloons? Balloons? Okay. balloons. Oh, Laura. No idea. No idea. Question mark. All right. And no idea. I had no, no idea. idea either. And of, hold on. One of you got it correct. That's it right. It was the balloon. The balloon lady. So got it. Kyla, yes. you get four points. All right. It was the oh, balloon. Really? Are you sure? Balloon. Are you going to lose this? It was the balloon following Logan around. S says the yeah. guy who's in the lead, he's going to lose this. All right, oh, next yeah. question. Oh, this one. Remember Harley, Miley, Howell, Rolo, and Jet? Can you name what animals they actually are? He, Harley, Miley, Howell, Rolo, and Jet. You don't have to just write them in order. Harley, Miley, Howell, Rolo, and Jet. What type of animal are they? Well, they only have 12 seconds to write down, so I have to write faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Please stop writing your answers down. And let's go ahead and start with Stacy. You get one point for each. Okay. All right. I said Gila Monster, Roadrunner, Coyote, Armadillo, and Jackrabbit. Okay. Miss Laura. I had Gila Monster, Jackrabbit, and Armadillo. Mm. Okay. Kyla. Kyla. I said Gila Monster, Roadrunner, Coyote, Armadillo, and Rabbit. Okay. And last but not least. Uh, Gila Monster, Roadrunner, Coyote, and Armadillo. All right. You got Gila Monster, Roadrunner, Coyote, Armadillo, and ha I put hair. It's a rabbit. Whatever. It's, yeah, it works. Yeah. All right. So. That's right, Roger. Points will be distributed. Yeah, it's close it's enough, Daniel. You only have two on specific. Maybe I should take a point away from you, Daniel. <laughs> then he wouldn't have Jack, would he? Mmm, he wouldn't. I'm going to agree with you on that joke right there. <laughs> All right. Can, and here's the hardest question, one you've been waiting for. Can you list out the five Bible points, not the verses, but the Bible points from each Bible buddy? And one point per each. Each. I'll give you guys a minute to answer. All that right, one. this takes a little longer. The five Bible points from each Bible buddy. These are the sayings that we repeated innumerable times, Logan. Innumerable. Yes, we did. That's probably the thing I'm trying to forget from VBS. <laughs> Do you remember, Steve, what the uh, saying was after they say it? I. I think I do. I do too. I, I think, and and if they have that saying, yes, they, they might get saying. an extra point. Uh, yeah, they, they might. They might. If they possibly. put the saying on the end, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, they can just say. I mean, mm -hmm. they can if just they say it. But, say it. Yeah, that is true. I, I'd give them a bonus point for that. I would too. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and that is time. Let's see what you guys. Have. Um, which way did we go last time? Oh, uh, I don't remember now. All right, Stacy, what's start with you? So I said, God is always with us. God is stronger than anything. God is in charge. And all of them end with awesome God. Okay. Okay, um, you got those? Cool. Yep, got All right. Them. Okay, Laura, what do you have? God is surprising. God is always with us or with you. God is comforting and awesome God. Okay. Miss Kyla? I said, God loves you no matter what. God is with you everywhere. God is surprising and awesome God. Cool. And Daniel? I got all five. God is with you everywhere. Awesome God. God is surprising. Awesome God. God is in charge. Awesome God. God is stronger than anything. Awesome God. God loves you no matter what. Awesome God. All right. All right. All right. I see what you're doing, Daniel. I see you've studied. You have been doing some studying. I'm impressed. Lord. I'm impressed. I'm yes. impressed. I am impressed. God loves you no matter what. Awesome God. God is with you everywhere. Awesome, awesome God. God. God is in charge. Awesome God. Awesome God. God is stronger than anything. Awesome God. Awesome God. And God is surprising. Awesome, awesome God. Awesome God is right. All right, cool. Next question. How much money did we raise for Operation Kid to Kid this year? For our Navajo school children for their school supplies. How much money, you get four points 
for the closest answer. Answer, and you would get eight if you got the exact amount. Yes. Okay. This time we're going to be starting on the other end of the table. Mm, by the way. Okay. Just, oh, yeah. Cool. I'm cool with that. Right. Yeah. Is everybody done writing? Because time is up. All right. Cool. Daniel. Uh, I got a thousand eight point four six dollars. Put simply, a thousand eight dollars and forty six cents. Okay. All right. All right. Kyla, Kyla, what's? I said eight hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Eight hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Laura. One thousand one hundred seven dollars. One hundred seven dollars. Okay. And Stacy. I put one thousand one hundred thirty seven dollars and forty two cents. All right, let's find out just what that is. It is one thousand and three and forty seven cents. So the person closest to that was actually Daniel. Daniel. Surprisingly, is what, Daniel. What was his guess? One thousand and five dollars and forty six cents. So is I'm giving oh, he said eight. Oh eight. Well, so he's Laura, still, oh, Laura was is the closest. closest. Very Not good. Bad. Oh, nah. Daniel, still Daniel is. Still closer. Oh, Daniel, yeah. <laughs> Steve, are you trying to take me off my game? I'm trying to get That's Daniel. A second time. I'm trying to get Daniel to lose some points. That's oh, what I to, see yeah. what you're doing. Okay, yeah. so should I give him the, the four hosts are ganging up on me. This is yeah. Give him the give him the four points. Steve, yeah. just give him the last question. Please. All right, all right. Last but not least, list out the last five VBS held at Trinity over the last five years in reverse order, starting with the most recent and working backwards. Mm. So list yes. this year's and go backwards. All right? If you, want to, if you can go further than that, you get extra points. Exactly. As we, we, we're generous. We give extra points. Oh, we're, we're generous co-hosts. We, co we are the milk of human kindness. That's what we are as Will you explain that to me again? <laughs> I'm milking this joke for all I can. Of course you are. That's right. It's a lot better than most of my, better than most of my jokes. Uh, you know why? Because I'm the cream of the crop when it comes to hosts around here. This I is am, what I had to deal with throughout VBS the entire time. I am utterly, utterly amazing. Utterly. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're distracting these lovely people, trying to write down the answers. Has everyone got answers written down? I'll give you guys another 15 seconds. Three, two, one, time's up. I'm glad they didn't ask me because I've only been here for two VBSs. Oh, okay. All right, all right, starting on uh, Stacy's end. All right, Stacy, what all do right. you got? What do you got? I can only think of Monumental and Rocky Railway. All right, okay, there Anything you go. Anything pre-COVID okay. just right. okay. flew right out of my head. All right, Laura, what have you got? Monumental, the railroad, uh, I'm not sure with the order, but there was a sing and play and a Serengeti one. Okay. All right. Cool. Very good. Very good. Uh, Kyla. Kyla. Okay, I said monumental, um, wild. I don't remember what it was called, so that's my guess. Maker Fun Factory in Everest. All right. Cool. Oh, wonderful. And Daniel. Uh, I have monumental of Rocky Railway Safari and Lion Pride. I don't know. Railway. Good try. Good, good try. try. Good Definitely try. Good, try. good try. Sometimes all right. it's difficult to remember the names. You remember Definitely. all the songs. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Well, here was the answers that we had. Monumental was this year, of course. Rocky Railway was last year, two years ago, or three years ago. Um, Roar. And everyone was Roar there. was the one they were all struggling to find the name. Maker for. Fun Factory. I can go forever. Uh, Cave Quest, uh, Everest, and then I would draw yeah. a blank. Right. Yeah. So. Good job. That was very well that. done. That was very, very good. Cool. After that round, the scores kind of inched their way up. So, in last place, mm. with 19 points, is Laura. Mm. In third place, with 26 points, is Stacy. Mm. In second place, with 29 points, is Kyla. And leading the pack still, just barely. Well, not just barely. You actually have a good lead. 40 points to you, Daniel. So, we are... Halfway done. Amazing, it's halfway done. It's actually gone pretty fast. Um, shall we go into our next round, Steve? You know, I, I'm feeling a need for a dad joke. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, another dad joke. Logan. Right. Yes. What did the first stoplight 
say to the second stoplight? Don't go. That's a good try, but that's not correct. What did the first stoplight say to the second stoplight? Don't look. I'm changing. Nope. Not happening. Not why you top that off on me. I got a question. Why? Oh, you already read that one. <laughs> You know what? So I'm topping you I'm right gonna, now, I'm brother. I'm going to flip yeah. the page on you. Oh, Steve. flipping the page. What driver doesn't have a license? Uh, I don't know, Logan. What driver doesn't have a license? A screwdriver. Uh, well, we better go on. All right. Okay, yes, we'll, go, we'll, so. we'll, we'll go on. I think this. so, because the next round is, of course, one minute devotion. Oh, my <laughs> absolute least favorite round. Oh. Why is that, Steve? Because I lost that <laughs> round. <laughs> that is the round that you lost in. All right. This is a very difficult round, so please listen up. This round is all about talking. I'm going to give each of you a topic one at a time. So let's say, for example, Steve, it was your turn, and I gave you the topic. Um, scripture alone. That was a sermon you, I believe alone. you scripture did. Alone. So, there are three things you cannot do when you're talking about your topic. You cannot hesitate, which means you cannot pause for like a second or two. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot deviate from the topic, which means you can't talk about something else mm -hmm. that's not related to mm -hmm. the subject. Mm -hmm. And you cannot repetition, uh, say the same words over and over again. Besides, Besides like and, but, or whatever. The, the, that kind of thing. We'll let or, those go. Yeah. But if you said Jesus in Scripture alone, and then farther along when you're talking, you say Jesus again, someone can call out on they you. They ding their they, little dingers, don't they? they? Yes, they, mm -hmm. they buzz in. So what happens if they object and they're right? If they are right... Not only do they get control, control of the topic for whatever time is left over, but they get a point. And then if you finish the round... If you finish the round, you get a whopping five points. Whoa. Let me just clarify something. This is going to be done in a minute. So you have one minute to talk about your topic. If someone buzzes in and says what you did that they think is wrong within the rules, they either, if it's right... They get a topic, they get a point. If it's wrong, you stay with the topic, you get a point, they lose a point. Ah, so, so there's a risk in dinging. There people. is a risk. Risk in dinging. People. Any questions? You lose a you point. You lose a point if you get it wrong, the objection. And we are the judges. Absolute, yes. no appeal. That's it, Daniel. Bear in mind, if you do object, I will stop the clock, so there will be no time wasted when objections are made. All right. Um, otherwise, I think we're ready. That's right. Stacy, you're up first. Oh, let me make one more thing clear. Stacy, your topic is going to be about creative lessons. Creative lessons. The words you can repeat are on your topic. So if you say creative twice, that's okay. If, if you, you say, say lessons, lessons twice, twice, that's okay. That's right. If you say crafts twice, that's not okay. It's not in the topic. I can um, say creative lessons as many times as Correct. Well. Correct. You just can't do and creative you, lessons. You creative must lessons, stay on the topic. Lessons. You, you must not pause for any long length of time. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Are you ready, Logan, everyone, on the timer? I am ready on the timer. All right. Are you ready, Stacy? I suppose so. Miss Stacy. One minute to talk about creative lessons in three, two, one, go. So when you're planning for VBS it's very important to include creative lessons in order to keep attention for the students. When lessons are not creative, kids can fall asleep or get into trouble or create mischief. They might wander away. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. You dinged. What was wrong? She took too long. She paused. Exactly. She paused. That is a point to you, Daniel, and you get total control of the topic. You have 25 seconds left to finish her topic, Creative Lessons. Let me also say something. This is your fresh perspective on the topic. You can say whatever she said as well. Doesn't matter. Whatever. All right. Daniel, you have 25 seconds to talk about Creative Lessons in three, two, one, go. So when you're thinking about creative lessons, you want to think about what would be creative. You can't think of something that's bland or 
null and void for kids' attention. Like, you got to get something they'll think is well, creative and fun. That is, uh, so, like, for example, you could do, like, um, you could make And that fire. is time, Daniel. You have five extra points for taking the topic all the way. All right. Now, unfortunately, Daniel, you're going to have to move right into your round exactly. without a pause. Because it is your turn to talk, Daniel. And your topic... Your topic is... is rowdy rowdy kids. kids. This is not an accident. No, Rowdy it's not. kids, Daniel. Rowdy kids. So am I going to be able to say rowdy kids as many times as I yes, want? Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's correct. All right, Daniel, you have a minute to talk about rowdy kids, starting in three, two, one, go. So when you're planning for VBS, there's another thing you have to take into account, and that is the kids. Some can be quiet, some can be smart, and some can be very, very rowdy. Um, when you're dealing with these rowdy kids, what you want to think about is authority. You have to see who they trust in and who they listen to, because you can't just take some random person and have them walk up to the kid and say, hey, you have to listen to me, because that rowdy kid isn't going to listen. You have to... Um, you have to make somebody who they trust or respect uh, go and take care of them. Because if you just have some random person, they might not listen. And I know a few kids who I had to make respect to me because they didn't listen to me otherwise. And normally I have a very happy and Yes, yes. Stacy. <laughs> He said listen, listen a, lot. a lot. I must also point out that he did say some a lot too. He also said, uh, I believe, I, I believe he were he used the word um, another word several times. Yeah. Also. So, so guys, seriously, so, keep and, in touch with that. This, and get this. And get this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is awesome. This is um, a correct challenge from Stacy. She gets a point. Um, Stacy, you have one second to talk about <laughs> rowdy kids <laughs> in three, two, one, go. There were lots of rowdy and that kids. Is time. Yes. So there you go. She just five took points. five points on your round for one <laughs> second. <laughs> what a gift he gave her. He's so kind exactly. to his mother. He's kind to everyone. And I just, just keep wondering. One second left. You had one second. You know, left. as as I see this interchange, I never know where the buck is going to stop. Mm. Mm. Probably the horns. Ah. All right. It was a dear joke. <laughs> Good job, Stacy. I'm stealing that victory. Um, Laura, let's go to you now. Your topic is going to be VBS, fun and excitement. You have one minute to talk about VBS, fun and excitement. Now, seriously, you guys, don't be afraid. Buzz in. If you hear something wrong, object to it. That's why you know. You want points, right? Just remember, you can lose a point, too. <laughs> Steve, try and give him positive. Don't keep bringing him down negativity. I like that one second thing. Oh, she was a, she's a master. Yeah, she's a master. Wow, she planned it. Master. All right, Laura, are you ready? ready? You have one minute to talk about VBS fun and excitement. And three, two, one, go. Um, when you come to VBS, you can plan for lots of fun and excitement. There is lots of fun in the games that you get to play and lots of excitement in the snacks that they get to eat since they are so tasty. And when you go to the Bible adventure, there's lots of fun and excitement in watching the videos and singing the songs. There's also fun and excitement when you go to the crafts and you get to do uh, make things and do the science experiments that they have in there. When you meet at the beginning of VBS, there's lots of fun and excitement uh, listening to the amazing co-hosts that are <laughs> sharing at the beginning and the uh, activities that they're doing up front. And, and that is time. Taking you made it. Whole it. Way. Wow. Congratulations. And she buttered up the co-hosts. I like that did. part yeah, especially. 
You know what? Maybe you've had to serve some extra points. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Logan. Yeah, I didn't no, think yeah, so either. I don't okay. think so. Okay. That's okay. She right, it's, a, it's, a it's a temptation. It's a temptation. Okay. All right, Kyla. Kyla is, not, is last but not least. Okay. Kyla, remember how this works. Okay. All right. Your topic is going to be about being a strong leader. You have one minute to being talk about a being strong. a strong leader, starting in three, two, one, go. Um, when you go to VBS, being a strong leader is important in every station that you go to, the craft station and the games and snack, because you don't want the kids to not listen or respect you. They have to stay where they are supposed to be and not be just running around. And so you have to be a strong leader so they listen <laughs> and... Yes, Daniel. She said listen twice. She did say listen twice. Correct challenge from Daniel. Correct you now have 14 seconds to talk about being a strong leader in three, two, one, go. Uh, there are multiple Use your mic, microphone. There are multiple qualities to being a strong leader. You have to be strong, and you have to be brave enough to stand up to obnoxious and annoying kids. You can't just say... And that is time. And Daniel steals another five points. It wasn't wow. as good as when Stacy stole it from him. But it was pretty close. <laughs> I think right. the Bucks practice this at home. Oh, don't have right. it. Face said they didn't watch it, though. Yeah, right, right, right. I believe All that. right. The scores are thus follows. In last place is Laura, again, with 24 points. In third place is Kylo with 29. In second place is Stacy with 32. And in first place, just continuously sprinting away from all the people down below is Daniel with 52 He is faster points. than... He's 20 points ahead of everyone right now. He is right faster now. than a runny nose. Oh, jeez, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do something fun and exciting, shall we? Um, we are going to do a quick little round, and I'm going to get the graphic up here. Right now, it's the Artist Congregation. I love this. Yeah, so get ready to draw. This round, you will be drawing. I, the pieces of paper that are in front of you each have what you are drawing. So, one at a time, Daniel, not yet, put it down. One at a time, I will go to you and I will give you a chance to look at the paper to see what you are drawing. I will time you for 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds to draw what your topic is. And once the time is up, I will tell you to stop drawing. You will put your pen down. Whatever it looks like it will be, you will show it to the camera and everyone else, and whoever else is trying to guess what it is, buzz in. If you give a correct answer, you and the drawer each get three points. Any questions? No? All right, Stacy, let's start with you. She has what she's drawing. Are you ready? 30 seconds of the clock starting now. You know, Logan, as she's doing this drawing, yes, I was going to ask you, what is your favorite part of VBS this year? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was getting everyone wet in here with the spray bottles. And what was your least favorite part? Getting hit by water balloons. Mm. I think we have opposites because my favorite was hitting you with water balloons and my least favorite was getting squirted. Oh, you didn't like it? And we mm. were using the kind spray bottles, Daniel. Yes. We, you were pelting us with balloons. Stop drawing, please, Stacy. Please put your pen down right now, and please show us your masterpiece. Show it around. Yes. Yes, you have to Jesus buzz in. Jesus, light of the world. Jesus, light of the world is correct. And remember, if you think you have the answer, you ding in. Okay? Yes, you buzz in. Damn, buzz you in. should have known this. That's I just right. told you. Nice job. All right. Okay, for our next... Uh, Daniel. Contestant is Daniel. You are drawing now. Please take a look at your at your uh, thing you're supposed to draw. Topic. Okay, take a good look at it. You All, right. At. All right. All right. <clears throat> no, you cannot write words. You cannot write words. Words or no. numbers. You cannot nor write. No, yep. Nor letters. All right. 
30 seconds off the clock starting now. Steve, yeah. I have to ask, two years, or yeah, last year during VBS, there was a time when we got pied. How'd that make you feel? Pie-eyed. Really? How did it really make you feel? Sweet. <laughs> How did it make you smell? Uh, like vegetable oil and sugar. Yeah, yeah. To be Stop drawing, yeah. please, Daniel. I'm glad this topic is over. <laughs> and please show us your masterpiece. Show it to the other contestants and to the camera. Yes, yes. Stacy. Uh, Fishers of Men. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Good try. Um, yes, Kyla. Hi. It is a water balloon it is the water event. Balloon fight. Kyla, Very why would you good. use my name specifically yeah. getting water balloons? Wow. Wow. She has okay. a lot of empathy for He's your He's got sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. Three All points, right. I guess, to Kyla. Yeah. Laura is next up. Yes, Laura, you're next And please up. take a look at your topic, please. Take a good look at it. All right, she knows. And 30 we seconds on the clock starting drawing. now. I say you guys should listen to one of my dad jokes. Jeez. Oh, Speaking of dad jokes, why since would he brought you... it up. You why? Know, I have some great why? ones. Why? Hey, How many Logan? Logan? Yes. What happens to to goods if they're damaged in transport? I don't know what happens to goods if they're damaged in transport. They become bads. Mm. That me rhymes that. with dads. Give me that. Isn't that awesome? Give me that. Give me that. Um, I'm going to tell you the joke first. Stop drawing, please, Laura. <laughs> Show us your masterpiece. Mm. Nice. Mm. Everyone see what it is. It's mm. a lot of work in that masterpiece. I wonder where she was going with that. Yeah. Yes, Kyla. It, uh, That's a good guess, good but guess, incorrect. But not correct. Good guess, but not correct. Remember, these have something to do with VBS. That's a hint. I didn't know that, Steve. Yes. These have something to do with VBS. Does any of the Bucks want to try and... <laughs> <laughs> Had to. Why is that so funny? <laughs> I, I mean, she's a Buck. And he's a Buck. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, do. Give him a shot. <laughs> Stacy is first. I completely heard and saw that one first. Yeah. Yes, Stacy. Um, God's word will turn you around. That's incorrect. Mm, Daniel, would you like to try? Last chance. Uh, uh, the Bible is a rock I'm standing on. You know, all of these are great They mottos. are really close. Yeah. Um, Laura, please explain yourself here. Well, they got the Bible part right, but the next part was about the stations, adventure stations. It was indeed Bible Adventures. And she even talked about it, it here in her devotion. I know. She was it's giving hints. Amazing. Wow. Um, well, that's okay. Um, All right. Last but not least is yes. Kyla. Please Kyla. take a look at your topic, Kyla. All right. 30 seconds on the clock starting now. All right, Steve. You told one. I'm going to take one here. Um, what part of the car is the laziest? What part of the car is the laziest? I don't know, Logan. What part of the car is the laziest? That's obvious, Steve. It's the wheels. They are always tired. That joke is a real retread. Steve, you don't even need this book. You can just make them up as you go. How many tickles does it take to get an octopus to laugh? I don't know. How many? Stop Ten drawing, tickles. please, Kyla. What's that? Please. Tentacles. <laughs> He's making me demanding, and I can't be demanding. i got to be a benevolent co-host. All right, please reveal your masterpiece. <laughs> yes, Daniel. Cliff Towers. And it is Cliff Towers. It is Good Cliff job, Towers. Daniel. And again, Daniel. Daniel. He's taking points and he, running he away is, with He them. is moving along. Yes. Yeah. That was all of the drawing round, so the scores are as follows. In last place, with 27 points, is Laura. Hmm. In third place, with actually tied for second place again, is Stacy and Kylo with, 20, with 35 points each. 
And Daniel, increasing his lead away from the competitors, is with 58 points. Oh, boy. I think we're in trouble, Steve. I think we're in real trouble. Yeah, but I want you to know something. Yes. Are we on the last round? We are on the last round. The That's last why we're round trouble. is a game changer. It is a very big because game changer. Because you can wipe out all your points mm. if you don't do well on this round. Yes, Daniel, you can still fail. Yes, be careful. Be very, very careful. I'm going to guess there wrong is... on purpose. Yeah. Really, really. That's right. There's no all right. <laughs> <laughs> this last round is, of course, Disciple Mentality. Oh. So, the round is pretty easy, but... You don't answer the right way, possibly, maybe not. There's no right, there's no wrong answer. Let me just say that. But depending on what happens, you can earn points or you can lose points. These are all would you rather questions. So would you rather do this or this? All you gotta do is choose one of the options and write them down on your whiteboard. There are eight of these. Now here's what happens. If you all have the same answer, you all get points. It's that simple. You all get three points. If two of you have one answer and the other two each have of you gets the two points. Each yeah. of you gets two points? Two points. Two points. Okay, two yeah. points, whatever. Yeah, two points. I wrote my rules down. I can change them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets three points except Daniel. <laughs> oh, no. That would be the Wow. Point. They really have it wow. out for me, okay. don't they, folks? I'm changing to three points. So I, since I <laughs> okay, just said we're it. going to three points. If two of you have one answer, if you ever two have the other answer, no one gets anything. Nobody. That is a Nothing. divided discipleship. You both yeah. are pretty much starting a war with each other. That's right. If three of you get one answer and the other one gets the other, the three that got the same gets three points, but the one doesn't get points and is labeled as the odd one out. Odd one out. Let me explain how this works. If you are the odd one out by the end of the eighth question, you will lose your points. Ah. Uh, mm. Yes. Hence why this is a game changer. This is a game changer. So, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> yeah. I, I think I need that therapist also. <laughs> Not hearing any questions, let's go ahead and go to the first question, which is, would you rather be Miley the Roadrunner or Howl the Coyote? Miley the Roadrunner or Howl the Coyote? Hmm. Right, one or the other. You must choose. Would you choose speed or choose a hunter? You must choose now. Yeah, Roadrunner with the speed and you got the coyote as a hunter. You never mm. know. Hmm. Does everyone have an answer written down? All right. Let's start with Stacy. Please reveal what you have. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on a second. I just remembered what, how this works. So we're all going to reveal at the same time. Right. So I count three. You all reveal the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Miley the Roadrunner, Howl the Coyote. We have Coyote and Miley. No one gets any points. It's a it deadlock. A deadlock, exactly. Okay, wow, question okay. two. Erase that one, because question two is going to be choose between these two options. Would you rather go on a trip with family or miss a vacation Bible school? Mm. Would you rather go on a trip with, a fam with your family or miss vacation Bible school? Steve, I think both of those are fun. It's hard to choose. Mm. I don't know, though. I also don't know what I would choose. Mm. Everyone's got an answer written down? All right, turning them over in three, two, one. Family trip, trip, family trip, and what is this, trip of family? All right, all of you get three points. All of you oh, get three easy. points. Whoa, they're avoiding the danger zone, Logan. It's easy, right? All right, we move into question three. Would you rather? Would you rather be caught in a net as Cliff Towers or Pastor Steve being water ballooned? Would you rather be caught in a net as Cliff Towers or Pastor Steve getting water ballooned? Mm. I know who I would rather be. Mm, yeah. How'd it feel, Steve? I came out feeling a little pale. I shouldn't have asked. Just shouldn't have asked. Not Everyone on my, got an answer? It's not on my bucket list. Okay, you know Steve. I mean. All right, Steve. We got to focus. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. 
Net Escort Towers, Pastor Steve, Net, and Water Balloons. See, both have been divided. No one gets any points. No points. And we're on to question four. Very interesting. Would you, okay, here's the rather. Would you rather decorate a room yourself or lead a group with one helper? Would you rather decorate a room yourself or lead a group with one helper? Because we're referring to VBS here. Yes. Decorate a room yourself or lead a group with one helper. Helper. Imagine having 25 kids in a group and you only have one helper with you helping out. Imagine having the gym as the room you have to decorate. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't even know what you would do for that. <laughs> All right. Does everyone have an answer written I down? I think they're ready. Cool. Please reveal in three, two, one. We had a group. We had a group. Decorate and decorate. Wow. Wow. Well, what did you expect? Okay. 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 teachers over right. here, and we do this every day. Yes. Deadlock or just lead with one helper? Oh, yeah. Or, no right. helper. or lead with no helpers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Cool. Next on, question. On to question five. See, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, totally worry nobody's going to lose any points. No, exactly here. not. No, no. Okay. Maybe Daniel. All right. Would you rather <laughs> lead games or help out with snacks? Lead games or help out with snacks? These are your choices. Would you rather games have a bunch of fun snacks. and games or would you rather sneak off with a bunch of snacks that are left over and eat them all? Hmm. Fun and games or Cracker Jacks? Mm. Take me out to the ball game. And on that note, are you guys ready with the uh, answers? Okay, cool. And reveal them in three, two, one. We eat games, snacks, snacks, and games. Again, a divided I divide it. This is Why is this divided, Steve? I feel a division among these people. It's a oh, divided congregation. We have this questions. is, you know, yeah. question six. Moving on. Would you rather attend Imagination Station or Bible Adventures? Imagination Station or Bible Adventures? Work really hard on a craft or listen to a fantastic, cool story. Wow. Wow. And maybe get to be in it. You could be crafty or you could be, uh, you know, in the middle of the story. Yeah, on a great journey. Yeah. <laughs> you can't choose both, Daniel. <laughs> you got to choose one of them. You must decide this day which you shall serve. Watch a baby odd one out. I'm not saying anything. But yeah, we don't, we don't want to see that. He's sweating quite a bit. I know, right? Yeah. Whew. All right. You guys all ready? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Bible Adventures, Bible Adventures, Imagination Station, and a match. My Oh, there, there's Steve. something going on here. Steve. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I think we've only had one or two questions that they've actually agreed on something. That's right. That's right. All right, maybe this one. Question Would you seven. rather play Duck, Duck, Goose or Simon Says? Duck, Duck, Goose or Simon Says? Would you rather be goosed or you'd rather have a pie in the face? That's exactly what you just said. <laughs> Simple Simon. I am, Simon hold on, to the hold fair. on. I you know, we do not rehearse this. This is actual just chatter like the chipmunks. Steve, right I am not Simon, so I didn't say you get pie to the face. <laughs> All right, is everybody ready? Someone needs goose, that's yeah, you. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> Are you guys ready with answers? All right, reveal in three, two, one, go. Simon Ooh. says, duck, duck, goose, duck, duck, goose. No, they, they, they're making signals to each other. I know this. What is going on? There's only one question left. Remember, if one person is the odd person out, they lose everything. I like strategy. this idea. Let's apply pressure. That's right. Let's apply pressure. This Thanks. is the last question, yes. and maybe something might happen. Who knows? I get to ask this How question. How much do you think we care? A lot. Okay. Would you rather give a lot of money for an unknown cause or give very little to something important? Would you rather give a lot of money for an unknown cause or give very little to something important? Steve, what would you do in this scenario? Oh, uh, man. I'd move back and punt on this one. Not the answer I was looking for, but okay. Okay. A lot of money for an unknown cause, or very little, something important. Is, the, is it completely unknown, or is it for... This is the question. This is we, the question. We cannot elaborate. It's too unspecific. Yeah. Yeah, this is, we, I'm sorry, that's the whole point of this question. Yep. It's, yeah. it's All right, everyone's got an answer. Let's see 
what happens. Please reveal in three, two, one, go. Little, something little, important. Little, something important, something something important, important very, very little. little. They deadlocked! Again! Again! Okay. All right. No, all the same. Not all the same. Huh? Very something important, something important, something important, something important, very little. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's all the same. They all get points. Oh, I see, because it's the same. Okay, they all get points? Steve, you got to me if you're jokes. Well, well, that one was worded differently, but it was the same. Well, that was a first. No one became the odd one out. Wow. Wow. They, they skirted danger. They skirted they did. The, the pit, the trap, the, the water balloon event. Well, I guess uh, that was the end of the round. Well, uh, do you want to add up those points for us, I Logan? Just did. And what are we seeing? What are we seeing here, folks? I am seeing thus. Okay. In, where is it? Last it is. place. Please hand this out to our last place with 33 points. It is Laura Anderson. Congratulations. You tried. <laughs> in. I can't believe this happened for a third time in a row. In joint second place is Kyla and Stacy with 41 points total each. And then, of course, in first place, and advancing to the round the that the trophy round. is on is Daniel with a whomping 64 points. Daniel, you have a chance at this, this against ever competitors. I don't have a chance. I have a guarantee. You just smoked everyone he here, says, Daniel. He says it's a guarantee. I said he's, I had a guarantee. He's guaranteeing it's a guarantee. It. He's is guaranteeing it. Wow. We'll see. The part he's already started planning the celebration party. That's what he's talking about. Ah. The victory dance. So he's I call I called the shots at the start of this entire thing. He is That's overconfident. Right. That's right. I'm All right. Well, that, I'm I realistic. I believe that is it, unless you have other dad jokes you want to say. Well, I think maybe we should exit with one more dad joke because we don't want to miss any opportunities. Of course. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. This is a dinosaur joke. I'm going to warn you. Oh. oh. Why didn't the dinosaur cross the road? Why didn't he? Why didn't the dinosaur cross the road, Logan? He wasn't curious. Because roads weren't invented yet. And on, and on that note, that is the end of Quizity. Uh, I'd like to thank Noah again for helping out tech. Right, I'd Noah. like to thank all of our contestants. Daniel, we'll see you in a couple months' time for the trophy round. Steve, thank you for being my co-host, even though you told too many puns and jokes. I did what I could. And I will have to say, this was the most calm quizity that we've ever had with so many people absolutely just getting along with each other. That is very surprising it because is. you are always the rowdy one. They, that's why you made me a host instead of the, letting me be a contestant. Mm, that's so what, that's what calms that's, you. I found the secret. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. You got to be a diplomat when you're the co-host. That's Exactly. Um, well, please um, uh, submit quizity chat so that way we don't have to hear any more dad jokes from this guy. Uh, that would be really... Really nice. Maybe we'll hear some funny stories. Maybe we'll hear some. No one can see you, Steve. No one can Dad see you. Joke. Graphic Dad is jokes. Dad way. jokes. Go, no yeah. one is going to see you. Don't now send anything see in, and you'll hear a lot more dad jokes. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that was the end of Quizzy. Thank you guys so much for coming. Daniel, we'll see you in two months, possibly. And that was the end of Quizzy. Everyone, please say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Price that quiz. Bye.